from ATB here doing this week's edition of ATB TV. Uh, for those of you who've been watching over the last six months, um, you will have seen me caught up, catch up with um, apprentice jockey Jessica Eaton from Mick Price's Stables. Um, earlier today I caught up with her as she's going to be having her first race ride on Saturday at Chatura. So stay tuned for that. But first of all, I'm going to speak about last week's results. Um, on Friday night at Mooney Valley in the 955 metre race, we had Platelet resume from a spell and we had Dylan Dunn on board claiming three kilos and she won. So it was a fantastic effort by Weary to get her to win first up. Um, Dylan wrote her a peach and um, she's pulled up in good order and she's going to head on to the Irwin Stakes on April 18 in South Australia. On Sunday at Warrnambool we had Tim Taglia, she finished third, um, she raced a little bit erratically, she pulled a little bit and um, I think Weary's going to uh, maybe have a change of gear and try a different bit on her, um, so stay tuned for that, she'll probably be running at Flemington um, in the next couple of weeks. And we had a winner in Chloe Anna, first time over the trip of 2,000 metres. She raced really well and she just got to the front in time and um, it was a really nice win for her. And she had some owners that had travelled a fair, bit, fair way to see her, so congratulations. On Monday at Swan Hill we had the last Angel finish 7th. Um, she jumped well from the barrier and she was at the front of the lead and then... Come around the bend, um, Dean Yendel went for her and she just raced like a tired horse, so she's gone to the paddock. Um, and today at Sandown we've got Claire Vaux, so I'll pop that up, um, how he races today, but we're expecting him, he should go well. This week's races, we've got racing tomorrow at Bendigo where we've got Edge of War racing. Um, he resumed from a spell and raced at Ballarat and returned a winner. So he's trained on well and um, we're expecting him, if he has luck in running, he's a good each way chance. Um, on Easter Saturday at Caulfield, we've got Black Velveteen Racing. Um, her last start at Sandown, the track was terrible, um, it was all chopped out, she didn't have very much luck in running. So we've popped Jake Bayless on her, he rode her in a jump out on Monday and he claims uh, 3 kilos off her, so it gets down to 51 kilos, which is nice and light. And we'll be looking for her to do something. We think she's got a little bit of potential. And on Sunday, Easter Sunday at store, we've got Hippodrome resuming from a spell. He's been training well, so keep an eye out for him. And Ticket to Turak has had a little mini freshen up from uh, five weeks ago. He's in good order and Matthew's had him working down along the beach. Um, and he had a gallop on Tuesday and he's going really well, so watch him on Sunday. On Easter Monday, we've got one of my favourites resuming a basso. He's racing at Warwick Farm. We've got James McDonald booked to ride. Again, resuming from a spell, so we'll watch for him. Uh, what he does, he'll just take improvement from anyway, but he's come back in very good order. He's got a nice healthy coat and Chris Waller's really happy with him. On Sa at Sandown on the Monday, we've got Intravenous Racing. Um, She's been such an unlucky horse and she's just knocking on the door for a win. If she can get a good ride by a Yendel, she's got an awkward barrier again, but let's just hope this time that she has some luck in running and she can get that win. We've got Falago, he'll strip fitter for the run after his last start, resuming from a spell. Um, he's taken good improvement for that, so watch for him. And we've also got Chloe Anna on the quick back up in a 2100 metre race. Um, as I said, last start winner, so keep an eye out for her as well. And on Wednesday at Geelong, we've got imaging nominated, so stay tuned to the website for that one. So as I said, I caught up with Jessica Eaton, and here we are. Well, here I am at Caulfield with apprentice Jessica Eaton. Welcome, Jess. Thank you. It's good to have you here. It's good to have you here. So you've got a pretty exciting weekend coming up. I sure do. What are you doing? I've got my first ride on Saturday, I have two for me, yep. and then Sunday I've got another ride and that's one for John Sadler. So to cheer on Saturday, you're riding War Point. Um, I've had a little bit to do with this horse as a yearling, a two year old, and um, also as a three year old. Um, he's been runner up to Firehouse Rock quite a few times, he's quite a handy horse, he's been gelded just recently and he's had a pretty good training prep and this is his first start back from a spell. Sure is. So you're going to be taking four kilos off his back, so he, he had 61 kilos, so he's getting down a little bit in the weight, which his owners will be very pleased about, and in saying that, it's been really good of the owners to give you a ride on him. Definitely. Yep, so um, 
it's all really exciting. So we just touched briefly before off camera about doing the form and that kind of thing. So how have you been preparing for this race? Um, just basically looking at previous replays of the horses I'm riding and even horses I'm running against and looking at how they've placed in their starts. Yep. And do you do, in apprentice school, do you have somebody that helps you out reading the form and that kind of thing? Yeah, um, we have had quite a lot of sessions with Andre Casse, who's very good and he works with the stewards on race day, helping provide information, so he obviously knows his stuff and he teaches us quite an in-depth, his in-depth knowledge on form and what he knows. Yep. And so you've got all your gear, you're all set to go. Yes. And what's your minimum weight that you're going to be riding at for your apprentice? My minimum weight is currently 51 kilos. Oh, nice and light. I put my weight down as 51 and basically it can be changed depending. Okay. So my weight's slowly going down so I'll be able to make it even lighter eventually. Well, oh, that's good news. Good news for the, uh, the heavy weighted horses. So pop the apprentice on, whip the weight off the back and um, it takes a lot of pressure off the horse. A couple of weeks ago the Victorian Wakeful Club had a luncheon and Jess, you were awarded a scholarship um, by these ladies. Um, it's a new scholarship, it's for apprentices and they select a, a female apprentice to be awarded $1,000 and what do you think you're going to do with that award? Um, I've elected to do some coaching with James Fremantle, he's uh, very well known in media training and anything related like public speaking. So um, we worked on personal branding this um, my, in my last session and just mm -hmm. learning how to promote myself in the way I want to be perceived by everybody so yep. just working on that and I've got two more sessions with him. Okay and if you got this week's or this month's edition of Inside Racing and you open to page 12 you will see an article there on Jess. So she's really going places and so this weekend is going to be really exciting for your family and friends. I'm really excited. I can't imagine how you'll be feeling but um, I think if the ATB team out there are watching this and they were going to back one of your horses, which one do you think they should back? Um, for out of mix, I think uh, Monsieur Le Grand is a very good chance. Really? Oh, well, there you go. I would have gone for Warpoint, but there you go. So maybe you can have five each way on both of them. Anyway, Jess, good luck. Thanks for joining us today. And, um, it's been really interesting that the owners could follow your journey and we hope that you're going to be kicking goals and shooting past that winning post and it's going to be a really fun ride for you. Thank you very much and thank you for having me. And we'll have to get you on some ATB horses. Well there you have it, that's Jessica Eaton and the preparation she's done for her first race ride. Jess from all the team at ATB and the, and the owners, we wish you all the very best for a safe and successful ride and we hope that your first one can be a winner. That would just be fantastic. So anyway, that's it for me. Um, wishing you all a happy Easter. Be safe and try not to eat too much chocolate and back a winner. Cheers.